that moment you all first laid eyes on her again, what was it like? To me, I mean, just so much joy. This morning, in an exclusive sit down with NBC News, the parents of 25 year old Carly Russell are speaking out, describing the moment their daughter appeared on their doorstep after being missing for more than 48 hours. What did you do when you saw her? We tried to hug her as best we could, but I had to stand back because she was not in a good state. So we had to stand back and let medical let professionals work with her. Um, but it's Last Thursday, police say Carly called 911 to report a toddler walking alone on the interstate. She pulled over while on the phone with a family member who described hearing Carly scream. Her vehicle is unlocked, running, all her personal belongings except for her phone. On the scene, police found no sign of Carly or a child, and they say no children were reported as missing during that time period. The Russells waited in agony until Saturday night. There were actual, actually just so many calls and texts from people who maliciously lied to us. I just didn't know people could be so evil. Authorities have not indicated where Carly was during the 48 hours she was missing or what happened. Her parents declined to share what their daughter told them, citing the ongoing investigation. And can you tell me, what happened Saturday night? Did you just get a knock at the door? Anything leading to, to the case itself, we, we can't discuss that. But they say speculation about the circumstances surrounding Carly's disappearance are only making things worse. She's having to deal with the trauma of people just making completely false allegations about her. Her family now urging the public to let the investigation play out, but mentioning an abductor. Her mother asking to read a brief message to the public. Um, Carly has given detectives her statement um, so that they can continue to pursue her abductor. Do you believe that there's an abductor still out there? Absolutely. Absolutely. NBC News has reached out to the Hoover Police Department to ask whether they're looking for an individual involved. Police have just said they're following up on all information provided by Carly. And when I talked to you all on Saturday, you also said your daughter is a fighter and she would find a way back to you. I felt that in my heart. Is that what happened? She did. She found her way back to us. However, we can't discuss the details of that. But they say one thing is clear. Do you believe she was fighting for her life? Oh, she definitely fought for her life. There were moments when she physically had to fight for her life, and there were moments when she had to mentally fight for her life. But she made it back to you. She, she made, made it, it back. back. Yeah, she did make it back. All right, Priscilla, so investigators are obviously busy on this case. What are they looking into going forward? Yeah, Hoda, right now they're analyzing that initial 911 call and also that traffic cam video showing that car driving on the interstate very slowly with its flashers on, believed to be Carly's car. And of course, they're looking at the evidence from the crime scene, including the car and her cell phone, which was found on the roadway nearby. Police say that they have been able to account for all of her steps leading up to her disappearance, but those 48 hours when she was gone still remain remain a mystery. Hoda? Mm. Yeah, leaving behind her phone, her pocketbook, and all those things, a lot of things that uh, investigators are looking into. Priscilla, mm. thank you.